Andre, I've been dreading this day. What? I've been dreading, dreading this day because... Oh, I, I know, I know. You know why? Does it have to be... Uh, does it have something to do with that red truck? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a sad day at TFL Truck. Uh, but before we get to that, uh, let's do a fleet update. We haven't done one in a long time, so yes. let's kind of give them a walk around the offices, show them what we're reviewing, show them what's coming up, give you guys an inside, uh, the studio look at TFL, and then we'll soon enough talk about the very sad news. Uh, so let's start with this vehicle. Okay, well this is fun. Yes, this, this is a good this vehicle. Is good news. Uh, 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. So when it first came on the scene, uh, you were there at the first launch event, right? Yes. And then you spoke to Hyundai and, it, it, and you said something like, this is a very significant vehicle. It's a little compact pickup. Why don't we get it on the long term? Yes, and uh, they gave it to us for a year. So thank you, Hyundai. Uh, and you know, the more I drive it, the more I like it. I love the color, and actually I find it extremely useful, right? Uh, that little bed is just enough bed to use for like running errands or bringing small lawnmowers around. Uh, and then you can also park the thing. So it's a really useful size of a truck. Uh, and the best thing about this is, of course, uh, that we just did an MPG loop. You wanna give them a little bit of a uh, hint about what we did? Yes, we compared four vehicles on a 160-mile uh, MPG loop. Sorry, I was playing with the key. Uh, and we had the Santa Cruz, we had the Nissan Frontier, which we'll show you in a second, actually. Uh, we had a Ram, uh, Ram 2500 Cummins diesel, and we had an F-150 hybrid. Yeah, so the thinking is, with four. gas prices through the roof, let's find out what's most fuel efficient. Is it compact, midsize, full size, or heavy duty? Uh, and I'm not going to give away the ending because that video is coming, but um, this did really well. And there was another surprise in that video. There was two will surprises. See. Yes, yes, huge surprises. Um, and also, you used the Santa Cruz to carry an engine. I did, yes, for our new video series that we're filming right now, where we're actually uh, engine swapping an old 1987 M5 with an M5 engine. It's a long story. It'll yes. be up on Classics. Speaking of Classics... Well, I haven't seen this in a long time, and I think people out there haven't seen this either. Well, we just did a video. Tommy just did a video with it. Okay. Uh, and basically, this is the worst mini GP in the entire country. We <laughs> bought it at the height of COVID. And if you guys are interested in what's been going on with it, check out that video. It's over at alltfl.com. Uh, it's a really good video. Uh, Tommy's been, like, driving, the, as you can tell, uh, the wheels off of it. Uh, and show him the tires, Matt, would you? Uh, they'll give you a hint as to what he's using it for. So there's a little bit maybe cupping, I would say? There is a little bit of cupping, A little bit say? of cupping on these tires, but this is still kind of a fun car. How many miles do you, do you remember? Uh, like, it's got like almost 60,000 now. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it had everything wrong with it. It was lit up like a Christmas tree when we got it uh, from a dealer in uh, Texas, but we have made good use of it, and Tommy bought it from the company. It's his car now, and he loves it. He's just, uh, like I said, driving the wheels off of it. So let's get to the sad news before we get to the happy news. This is the day I've been dreading, Andre, and that is because you just did what video with this? Uh, goodbye, TRX. Yes, it's time for uh, the favorite truck that I've ever had at TFL to go away. Now, uh, I'd love to keep this truck. <laughs> I would love to buy it. In per indefinitely. Personally, yeah. but it's expensive. Uh, and at TFL, we don't collect cars, we review cars. Uh, so we've kept this actually a year and a half now. Uh, and as you know, we're about to do a new video series where we're going to drive an electric truck someplace that no one's driven an electric truck before. Uh, and to help pay for that, we have to sell this. So the way that the business model works, obviously, is we sell vehicles and then trade them in or use the money to buy new vehicles. So if you're interested in this truck, we've already got an offer from the dealership for 85000 for it. Uh, these things are selling at about 100000 uh, and I know that's more than what we paid for it, but that money isn't going into my pocket or your pocket. That money is going to buy new trucks so that we could do and more, more videos. videos. Yeah. More videos, yeah. More videos. So it's fun for all of us, and so you can watch that as so, well. So, best truck. We had zero issues with it, as, um, as far as I know? Yes. Zero maintenance problems. We just changed the oil. Uh, actually, I, I, I go in depth in my goodbye video because yep. I'm going sh to show you, you know, the, some of the trips we took, you know, Moab trips, uh, towing. Um, and also uh, everything we've done. And if you're interested, email us at uh, TFL, uh, ask, ask TFL. Ask at tfltruck.com. Exactly. Uh, and, uh, you know, it could be yours. Uh, we're trying to get, obviously, a good price for it yeah. because that money is a all going to... A fair gonna, price. Market it, price. It's all going to... Yeah. The, I, I looked it up on AutoTrader. These things are going for over 100000 I know it's crazy. But, you know, we're running a business here and the money goes back into making more videos and buying things like this. Yes, which is a new Silverado ZR2. We actually traded the previous truck we had for this, 
uh, that was a Toyota Tundra. Now we got this, which is the most off-road capable, worthy truck, uh, light duty that GM is currently uh, has. And we've already done over several videos with yeah, it. Yeah, today you just put up a video where you drag race this against the new Raptor. Well, not, exactly. not, the, not the new new Raptor, but the current Well, Raptor. the 2022, yes, yeah. yes. So if you want to see that, once again, go to altfl.com. It's up there right now. And we've got some fun plans with this vehicle. Uh, my biggest problem with it, Andre, and hopefully we're going to sort it out, are the wheels and tires. They're great wheels and tires. They're just too small. Yes, but uh, Roman, I want to show you something. Uh -huh. Come over here. So um, I don't know if you can get a camera in here, uh, Matt, um, at the, near the top, actually. Do you see this top suspension component here? Roman, I want you to put your hand between uh, the... Uh, there's no yeah. room. I know. It's bad, isn't it? It's as wide as my fingers. So we can't go much wider. So if you put a much wider tire, you know, the, the wheel actually may have to, like, step out a little bit. But it still needs a bigger tire. Yeah, so you can go bigger, but you can go pizza cutter. And I don't <laughs> want to put pizza cutters on there. So we're looking at maybe offsets or maybe putting the biggest tire combination we can put on there without offsets. We're still trying to, nobody, you know, these aren't out yet. Uh, not much, yeah. Not much, so we're kind of breaking new ground there. Yeah. Um, well, so somebody put 35s on this and it rubbed, so we, we don't want to do we that. We don't want to do 35s. Um, without doubt, Andre, yeah. from our testing so far, and there's a lot more to come, this has got to be one of the most capable full-size off-roaders there is, right? With the front and the rear lockers, it just makes it unstoppable. We have a video coming to TFL Off-Road to prove that. Yes. That's coming very soon. Yeah, that's, yeah. that was quite the epic adventure yeah. where we took it through the fish pond course uh, at the ranch. Yeah. Uh, and you'll have to see what happened because it's pretty amazing. And also a night gauntlet with this truck. Really? So it can do some work. Yes. Yeah. So that's coming too. All right. Well, let's keep right. going. Let's, 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 just, let's walk. Let's, let's show them. As you guys know, we also have a channel called TFL Bike. Uh, and we've been uh, swapping out some motorcycles recently. I'll show you what we got. So uh, last year, we had two bikes that TFL bought. We had a Ducati Scrambler and a Triumph Scrambler. Yeah. Um, and um, this is Tommy's bike, the monkey, so yep. he's keeping that. And we took those bikes and basically bought this one. So we took two bikes and so bought one. Same thing. Yeah, this is but, a- But what is this? The Touareg? I thought it was a VW. It's an Aprilia Touareg, oh, okay. and it's spelled differently, <laughs> okay. if you notice. That's... I don't know which way the tribe in Africa is spelled, Andre. <laughs> We're <laughs> probably a... mispronouncing the tribe's name. But Aprilia spells it this way, uh, and it's an adventure bike, so uh, uh, it's um, going to be reviewed, Andre. We did a Have first you... video with it where we put it on a dyno, okay. uh, but as the weather starts to get better until tomorrow when it's supposed to snow again, uh, we, we're going to take this and get it a little dirty. Well, I'm not a bike guy, you know, you and Alex and Case are bike guys. So over here, uh, we have two, two uh, bikes that we got from Honda, of course, the new Gram. Uh, you'll see a lot of this coming up on uh, This TFL is a bike. hot bike, right? The yeah. Gram? Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's the hottest new bike. It's one of the... Actually, this Gram, especially in yellow, um, I might actually get a motorcycle license just because of it. Yes. <laughs> it's really, really cool. I think you'd have a hard time having more fun for $4,000 <laughs> than you would with a Gram. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, here's the new Honda. This belongs to Honda, and uh, it's a CBR uh, 500R, uh, and we are uh, testing it. The boys have done a review. They filmed it. They're editing it, and that's coming to TFL Bike very soon. Uh, okay. More of a sport bike. And we just did a fun video today, Andrea, where we wanted to find out, you know, when I was a lad, you a would young lad, yeah, young lad, <laughs> you would never drag race a motorcycle. You know why? Like off a stoplight. Well, I've seen it because they're really fast. Yeah, they're quick, right? They're all power to weight. Yeah, uh, no weight, all the power. Exactly. <laughs> and so uh, I thought to myself, what about the new electric cars? Because when you think about it, electric cars are all about torque, and torque is all about acceleration. So we took our Mini SE, and um, I'll show you outside. Okay. Alex brought his personal bike, and we drag raced them. So the Mini SE is, of course, the electric Mini. And I gotta say, we've got some cool cars. You've got a, well, you've got a collection of pretty cool cars, but look at that, that is Case's, that belonged to his grandfather. Yes, uh, And Case Mercedes. Uh, is working on it, he's customizing it. He slammed it, and uh, it's pretty badass. Actually, actually, he doesn't want people to see his wheels because those are temporary. Okay. So he does, don't show that. Don't show the wheels. Don't, but don't the, show but the, the wheels. The car itself is yes. really cool. The car uh, is cool. Of course, there's your truck. Yeah, F-150 hybrid, so that's still there. This is our new vehicle of uh, JR Producer, if you're listening to our podcast. 
Uh, it's one of two Crosstrex that we own, which is ironic <laughs> since Subaru won't give us a car to review yet. On staff, we own two okay. Subarus. Uh, so this is what you were talking about. Yeah, this is what we drag raced yeah. against the Mini, the, the uh, Yamaha MT. Hell of a bike, Andre. Just a hell of a bike. Uh, and um, I'm not going to tell you uh, who won, but you could probably guess. And it's, it, sorry it's next to a dumpster. It's, it's, it's actually a really great bike. Well, the reason it's next to a dumpster is <laughs> because people drive here. It's the FedEx car comes through here and you don't want to hit the, hit the vehicle. Okay, sorry it's windy. Yeah. Storm is coming. Yeah, we're going to have, what, up to five inches in Denver tomorrow? Can well, you believe it? It's May. That? It's late May. I know, it's crazy. Uh, so this is uh, the F-Pace. Uh, it's one of the cars that's in the fleet. Uh, this week for our review, so thank you to Jaguar. Uh, we're going to have to review that one. Uh, and then we also have a Volvo, Andre. This is the new XC60. It's a hybrid, and I just charged it up, and it gets about 37 miles of all-electric range. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, Volvo usually knocks the design out of the ballpark, I yeah, think. Yeah. And we'll have a detailed video coming up on this. Yeah, so... Um, I don't know, maybe we'll do see if we can actually get 37 miles. We'll have some fun with that. That could be a good test. Yeah, uh, so let's go look at some more vehicles uh, that we are working on right now. Now, um, I said that the staff owns two Subarus. Uh, there's one. Remember we bought that and we did a long-term review of it and then one of our videographers ended up buying it uh, from the company and now it's his daily driver. He's put like, he's put like 20,000 miles on it in one year. It's crazy. Yeah. And he's beating up on it, and it's still, you know, it's great. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah, and then um, this is also from the fleet. It's the new Frontier, Andre. We just did, uh, obviously, a live, show. A live yeah. show with this, so if you missed it, you can get all of our thoughts. But this is a midsize truck that we did the uh, MPG review with. Yeah, the huh? Pro 4X. The Pro 4X, yeah. Uh, and then the one that I'm kind of the most excited about is right here. It's turned into our work truck. Uh, like two months ago, we bought uh, a Ram Cummins, uh, and... Uh, if you've been watching any of our ranch series, Taming Tumbleweed over yep. at TFL Off-Road, you know that this has been doing a boatload of work. A lot of work. Yeah. Actually, this truck already has over 5,000 miles on it. In like a month and a half. Yes. So we've been using it. We have a lot of Mopar accessories. I have a video coming up about this too. Okay. Because we got the side steps, we got a tunnel cover, and more importantly, we got a fifth wheel hitch, which is not here yet. I mean, not right now. Uh, I'm installing it, and I also am going to tow heavy. So let me, let me show you what hurt. Now look, what, oh. look, 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 look what I did to it, Andre. Look, right there. Ouch. How did that happen? And right there, look at that. And then there's a ding uh, somewhere right there. There's a ding right there. So How did that happen? A, it's looking like a proper Cummins now. <laughs> with, <laughs> with dings? With dings in the tailgate. I was, you know, we have a Bronco, right? And by the way, if you're wondering where that's at, Tommy's doing a road trip video with it. He's taking it to Dinosaur National Park. Okay. So I can't wait to see there. But uh, we partnered with Best Top to provide the a new um, Sunrider. Yeah. Uh, and uh, a little soft top. That yeah. And so up. we had to take off the soft top that uh, we had on it. I took it up to storage at the ranch, and the wind blew, and the whole top went bloop. It flipped over the back. Half of it stayed in, and the other half did that to the truck. I. So, well, it happens. It's a working truck. It's a working truck. Uh, and how do you like the Cummins? Are you a fan? I am. I am a fan. I just drove it last night. I delivered some lumber to the uh, ranch. Yep. I uh, used the trailer. Are you going to maybe pick up a piece of equipment, right, with this trailer? Yeah, we're going to have to get a tractor because uh, the lawn's getting pretty long at the ranch. It looks like that now. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that. <laughs> and, and a skid steer that we have is not great at cutting, <laughs> cutting uh, lawn. So I'm going to get a tractor this weekend. Uh, and then hopefully, if it doesn't snow too much with the Frontier, we've got Will coming in with his uh, ZR2 Colorado, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're going to do a, a comparison to the Frontier Pro 4X, uh, which I can't wait, if it's not at, too at, snowy. At the ranch. At the yeah. ranch. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you know, this trailer has held up relatively well. You want to talk about that? Well, yeah, it's, it's uh, so iron this bowl? wood deck, this is the iron bowl, uh, holding up well. The what, wheels are good. When uh, uh, but Case when Case first came here, we had him <laughs> actually stain the deck. He did. And, and, and it the, helped. Yeah, it helped the wood from curling It up. helped. But there is a little bit of rust, dude. So... There is some rust down here by the uh, by the ramps. You can kind of see it down here. So uh, underneath, there's a little bit of surface rust, but on top, it looks really good. And if you guys are wondering about trailers, we have a brand new aluminum trailer, which isn't going to rust. Tell me about that and what it's, videos you're doing it, with that. It's Aluma. Aluma. <laughs> so it's all aluminum. It's really lightweight, high end. Come over here, step out of the street so you don't get uh, run over. Uh, and uh, uh, I want to do horsepower versus torque. 
Okay, so Tell that was that. that was Tommy's idea actually, okay. and I think maybe yours. Um, but what we decided to do was to do Cummins versus TRX towing the same load. Okay, and do see a how, sixty. Yeah, basically acceleration test, uh, horsepower, seven hundred horsepower plus in the TRX versus eight hundred fifty pound feet of torque, and I want to use the Luma trailer with a giant vehicle on top of it. That's a good idea, Andre. Yeah, I think that should be fun. Now. Um, one other big bit of news, uh, we're working on bringing TFL bids back. So if you guys have been watching our Go Big series, we have two more episodes. The one where we go around the White Room Trail, I can't wait to air because it's exciting and it's fun and you guys just knock it out of the ballpark. Uh, but after that, we're going to be selling the Escalade, the Suburban, which is going to go for a charity yes. auction and, uh, the, excursion, right? and the excursion. Okay. Uh, and we're going to be selling those on TFL bids. So if you go over to TFL bids right now, uh, the site isn't quite ready to sell the truck yet, but it's up there and you can look at the truck and actually you can see how we customize it for the trip before we actually air that episode because okay. we got pictures of it in its current state, which hasn't been revealed yet on the video series. Okay, that's tflbids.com. tflbids.com. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. A fleet update from yes. uh, TFL Studios. Uh, thank you to our Patreons. As always, you guys are the best. You help make uh, some of this happen. Uh, and once again, if you're looking for all of TFL content in one place. Where do you go, Andre? AllTFL.com. Very simple. AllTFL.com. And you can buy that on our uh, YouTube channels. Yeah, you can. All right. See you guys next time. Ciao. We're driving from here just outside of Golden, Colorado, all the way to Moab to the White Room Trail. If you want to class up something immediately, trust me on this. I have focused on safety, security, and functionality. So for some people, that's about half a car payment right there. We're here on the White Room Trail, and I think there is no more beautiful road in the entire world. Yeah, there are like three cars going off the road here. Wait, what? They can go slow? Hell no. Now this is when you really want a vehicle that's in perfect mechanical condition when you're navigating the side of a cliff. This is functional. Well, welcome to the Escalade at night. That is a metal hinge which pokes you right in the middle of the back. It was extremely cold last night. The food on this trip was spectacular. I forgot we had five big guys. It's 2022, 100 bucks will get you an apple. Ah, this should be on. That's a little bit, but whoa! I do not like shelf roads, even when, well, I mean, 30 feet is a big enough clip to probably kill you. By the way, I wanted to show you, this is after waiting a moment or two or three or six. A lot of dust, very hard to see through. All right, come on, straight on. I'm not gonna let you go off the cliff, do Getting lightheaded. <laughs>